Hello and welcome to Times Network. This is me, Vishakha Pandit, and today only on Women's Day ka special segment, We the Women. I have with me Juhi Parmar. So yes, welcome home. Well, Juhi, ma'am, firstly welcome on Times Now. Thank you. Well, I would say that you know Women's Day is a day just come just one day celebrate करने का सही तरीका नहीं है. I think we should actually celebrate women every day around the world. But then, as it's the week, Women's Week. What do you say that you know has the condition of women improved over the number of years, or what do you suggest? What uh, do you think? Definitely, it has improved. Women are proving themselves to be equal, and sometimes, and at, in some places, even ahead. So, yeah, it has improved, but we still have a, a long, long way. way to go. Because, um, right. uh, yeah, uh, in the metros and all, with education and with the career-oriented women, we are seeing a lot of change. But there are still lots and lots of places where we need to. Um, still tell them that you know please send your daughters to school or please do not differentiate between son and daughter please do not treat your daughter as a secondary citizen and all that so yeah it we still have a long way to go but then you know seeing as how you are an actress and you are a prominent figure in the industry because itne saalon se aap ek industry ka hissa hain audience often follows what and what their favorite stars are doing hmm. so as an actor have you taken such such initiatives where you know you're like okay i take the bar i take the charge and i will be the one taking it ahead oh yes definitely when i say yes to a role or for that matter even any brand endorsement that i do i make sure that uh, i i am giving the right message out there um, uh, if we go back to the show that that ran uh, for 7 years and the the show that that is my claim to fame which is kumkum Kum -kum, yeah. uh, there are a lot of people who are still mistaken who have probably not seen the show and would just comment uh, randomly and loosely on on my page that oh you also belong to one of those sas bahu sagas and all that please do not generalize and categorize people and their shows kumkum was ahead of a time show kumkum promoted yes. widow remarriage kumkum did not show that uh, if a girl who uh, lost her husband at the age of 21 should not look for happiness again in life it in fact they showed a family which was so broad minded because her in-laws all the vadva parivar were the ones who wanted kumkum to remarry and start life again so you know uh, through my shows i have always tried to do shows which are um, uh, progressive and i think kumkum was one of the most progressive shows even recently when i did uh, my uh, show on tv which was uh, hamari wali good news hamari wali yeah. it looked like um it is it is not a progressive show if if you if you would see the small little things that we would show in the beginning but jaise kehte hain ki jeet dikhane ke liye pehle mushkilein dikhani padegi achhai dikhane ke liye burai dikhani padegi so progression dikhane ke liye thoda kuch regressive to pehle dikhana hi padega but the main ultimate aim of the show was to show how progressive we can be even if we are living in a small town even if we are not educated renuka my character was not an educated woman but she was one of the most um you know uh, progressive thinking women and the way she stood up for her bahu the way she conceived a child and gave it to her bahu was, yes. was a very very progressive thinking that she she did not follow the the group of women who were blaming her to be not able to conceive yeah. so you know yes as an actor i make sure that i take up shows and roles only which are progressive and um, only brands which are giving out some good message or giving making some good product in the market i try my best to do that as much as i can But uh, we are humans, so sometimes we do falter. But but, but seeing that you are very opinionated, because you know I've I've followed the journey through, be it yeah. from uh, you know from that era. But tell me something: has it ever happened that you know initially when you opted for a show, you thought that yes, this show is going to be very progressive, or the character is going to be something that I'm looking out for. But then as you are going through the character, you realize that oh. This is not how I pictured it, and oh, it's maybe sending a wrong message because what the world says is the secondary thing, but what you feel is first the primary thing. So, कभी ऐसा हुआ है कि आपने कहा कि नहीं ये चीज गलत जा रही है नहीं अब टेकर लाइक इन आइडर यू चेंज द स्क्रिप्ट और मेबी और मेबी आई एम वॉकिंग आउट हैव मेनी टाइम्स इट हैज हैपन्ड वी हैड लाइक लॉन्ग क्रिएटिव डिस्कशंस वेयर माय क्रिएटिव्स हैव हैड टू कन्विंस मी सो आई टेल देम दैट आई आई एम अ वेरी रीजनेबल पर्सन यू गिव मी अ लॉजिक यू गिव यू कन्विंस मी आई विल डू इट एंड इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू कन्विंस मी यू चेंज द थिंग बिकॉज देन आई एम राइट इफ आई एम आई एम ऑब्जेक्टिंग अबाउट समथिंग देन यू गॉट टू फर्स्ट प्रूव इट टू मी दैट वॉट वॉट माई ऑब्जेक्शन इज इज ओवर रूल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ अ सर्टन रीजन एंड अ लॉजिकल रीजन सो या मैनी मैनी टाइम्स आई हैड टू बी कन्विंस्ड ओनली I, if I found if I it found logical it, right? enough 
to say yes to. So yes. But but then tell me one thing honestly. Now that you know you've been a part of the industry for more than a decade, I would say more than two decades. More than two decades, <laughs> by the way. Two thousand, I think, if I'm not wrong, was uh, the way we started. Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Kumkum started, but yes. yeah, I joined the industry a year before that. So yeah. So two thousand. More I was than right. two decades. Twenty four almost years. But tell me something very honestly, because you have a daughter, and you know, as as an actor. Uh, a lot of actors have done this thing that you know when they opt for uh, when they are single they take whatever hmm. sales they are bought but hmm. when they have a child maybe anyone they're like oh now we have to think much hmm. more seeing that you know it's going to leave an impression in the near future hmm. on our kid hmm. so has it ever happened that one your daughter has seen your characters and if she has what was the reaction and okay. two do you opt for such shows now because think like more okay so it, i think i used <coughs> to opt for such shows right from the beginning because uh, ek moral responsibility yes. mujhe hamesha lagti hai ek actor ki hoti hai because people follow you and they look up to you so wo maine hamesha se kiya hai pehle but ha fir wo moral responsibility se zyada personally <laughs> moral responsibility bhi ho gayi but mera hamesha se ye mana tha ki main jo bhi kaam karti hu i would want to be comfortable watching my own work with my family with my parents and now with my parents and my and daughter aisa ho gaya hai to maine hamesha roles bahut soch samajh ke choose kiye hain main galat scenes nahi karti hu ya galat baat nahi bolti hu but mujhe lagta hai ki wo role model jo aap hote ho apne bacche ki zindagi mein wo sirf aap apne profession mein nahi apni personal life mein hona bahut zaruri hai isliye if you see my page when i um, when i talk about uh, songs which are which do not have good lyrics uh, as i said that we all are humans and we do falter so by mistake agar mujhse kabhi overlook ho gaye hain galat lyrics aur maine agar wo song use kiya to i have accepted my mistake publicly and i have removed that particular video of mine and uh, the songs that i feel are not good and children are featuring in those reels or or any other kind of videos i think you were the uh, i think uh, i don't know if the audience members know but you were the first initial ones who had actually raised your voice against barbie movie that you know how I, i think i was the like the, the first one, one because the it first created one, a yes, stir yes. and since you brought it up i will be uh, uh, very happy to talk mm-hmm. about a uh, little bit about it that you know uh, in that also i just feel that why people have to jump to conclusions why people have to be so judgmental about uh, uh, why somebody is saying something at least give it enough thought yeah. if someone is saying something there has to be reason behind it so i wrote uh, something on my page because I, I feel that Barbie is a sentiment with kids. Yes. I mean you and I don't play with Barbies anymore but we played with Barbies with we kids. I have. So you know it is it is like Mm, it's like Tom and Jerry. It's yes. like uh, Mickey Donald. So kids associate with that. Yes, Barbie is a little more grown-up girl. Yes. But still, they are kids. So I felt that you know why make a film on Barbie and keep kids out of it? Yes. So when I raised a question, I was told by a lot of people because it created quite a stir that um, that you know. Okay, so it is your fault that you did not see that it is thirteen plus. I said, okay, it is PG thirteen, and that is my question. That why PG thirteen? Like, why not make a film and give the same message with uh, uh, with uh, targeting the younger a, audience? Yeah, targeting a, a younger audience or with a character which is not associated with kids. Because yeah. the moment I would see a Barbie, I would first think that okay, oh, it would be for my daughter. Totally, it's like checking if it is PG thirteen or no for a Tom and Jerry. I will not. I would never. For, for a, <laughs> nobody would. And, and my daughter is now eleven. At that time, she was. then when this happened in 10 years i have never shown her any wrong film i have never ever taken her for a film which is not uh, age appropriate if this one time i did the mistake it was only because it was barbie had yes. it been a character which was a grown up character if it was a film made on madonna i wouldn't have taken her there <laughs> right because i would know what yes, i what to yes. expect um, I, i'm sure it would be inspiring i'm sure it would be a lot to to learn from or her struggles or her challenges and how she reached where she is but i know that this is meant for grown up audience grown up kids, so you yes. know as a mother uh, i let myself down when i felt that i did not uh, check the uh, the, uh, the age barrier, the age barrier and all that but more than that what i was trying to say was that i was disappointed with the fact that kids had to be kept away from a film like that where they play with it all the time yes. so when the merchandise is taken care of it's the kids are your main uh, consumers target consumers but, but when you make a film you keep them out of it why that was all that i was questioning so you know when when you question certain things there is a thought behind it and it would be nice if we all first try and understand if somebody is raising their concern about something rather than just being judgmental and say oh okay you are you're not um I would say uh, uh, a lot of things were said about me. You are not yes, this. You are yes, not that. You are not that. I, I, which I really don't care about because my opinion. 
is my opinion. Is my opinion. I have. You have a problem. Go away from no, there. I, I, I live that's in a country kind of where we have the right to yeah, voice totally. our opinions. And if if somebody does not like what you are saying, I'm sure they can actually just either just yeah. walk out from the account yeah. or maybe just don't comment. Yeah. But tell me something now because you're, you're talking about opinions and you yourself are doing like a she rose podcast where you're talking about. a lot lot many issues and a lot many genuine things that people should actually talk about clearly out there so what was the thought behind the conceptualizing of it you know what went like what was your plan behind it like you know so see honestly it was not a plan um about my personal experiences people know about it i i'm a single parent i went through a divorce and everything was out in public and everybody yes. knows about it but what came through this journey was that i turned my setback into my my uh, oh, strength. Yeah, strength i am a single parent and i take pride in it because i feel that i am the parent that stayed i am the parent who's taking on the responsibility and when people see me happy when people see me uh, you know taking care of my responsibility without a frown on my forehead a lot of women reach out to me through instagram through facebook uh, today th- there are so many ways where people can directly uh, send out their emotions to you yes. in, through their comments and most of them would say so many of them are stuck in a bad marriage so many of them are stuck in some other issue and they all say we look up to you but we don't know how to come out of uh, our issues so many of them say that please help me i am not able to deal with this please help me i am not able to deal with this loss what do i do as a mother i also want to do this for my child so you know o- over past few years lot of women would reach out to me and i would feel that how do i tell give them how do i give them, it back yes. to them how do i i try and inspire them and motivate them as much as i can through my page but it's it's not just about sometimes it's not just about giving gyan yeah. you cannot just go out and say oh, i think you should do this and i think you should that uh, you, you should do that and it will work on them no sometimes you you need to hear real stories and address those like issues. my yeah. life then they relate to me because they know it's a real story i i have gone through it yes. i have lived it the same way there are so many women who have gone through so many challenges um but still stood strong and did not give up and uh, uh, did whatever they wanted to do in their lives in uh, all different fields it does not have to be somebody who's doing great in her career or who's very educated it can also be somebody who's probably not educated but still um, is so inspiring so i felt that if i bring out stories of these women uh, and you know we we put it forward uh, f- for everyone to view even if one person somewhere sitting in their house is suffering and not able to come out of it or not able to cope with their issues and gets some strength courage and takes this that and, step and takes that inspiration <laughs> and uh, do the right thing that is good and right for her and her family or her kids or whatever that was that was the purpose behind this whole thing that we are doing um so i will be very honest here that you know a lot of actors especially the actors they they shy away from talking about their personal life beat uh, beat anything divorce marriage so they keep under wraps but you are very clear and like right now also you're so bold and upfront you ha huh, it happened it happened i took the stand my daughter is there with me and you know that's a, that's the power that i think you've taken from uh, whatever has happened but tell me one thing honestly and you can choose not to answer also while the entire thing was happening or maybe now also does your daughter question and if she does as a very bold woman out there do you answer her or do you just go past that question no way you can go past something which is our reality yes okay and even when i was going through it um and looking at me today everybody thinks that oh you're so strong no but every strong woman or every strong human being uh, being has hit rock bottom too yes. i have also hit rock bottom emotionally i have been there i have been broken i have i have not known how tomorrow would be i have not known how will i deal with it will i be able to cope with it i've been through all of that but but i have been through healing uh, uh, along yes. with that and today when yes. i sit here i am healed and that is a journey that is a process and everybody takes different time uh, timeline to heal somebody may heal uh, just in few days somebody may take years that's okay that's personally their way of healing with whatever setback they've had but with my daughter i just knew one thing that a i cannot turn my face from reality this is our reality and i am going to tell her the truth i am not going to shy away but age appropriate truth i could not tell her a lot of things i've still not told her yes. a lot of things because she's not yet grown up enough for that but she deserved to know the reality and yes she had questions like i had things to tell her age appropriate ways she <laughs> also had questions according to her age only and i have answered it 
according to her age and today i think she's my biggest strength apart from my parents she doesn't have questions all she has to say is that mama i am so proud of you i was just about to say that she would be very proud yeah, of you right now yeah she just tells me i am so proud of you and she says that um, you know how god gave me the sweet test <laughs> cute test mama and she would talk things like that and i'll say because is she, is she a sweet talker to get her work oh, done oh no 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 <laughs> she 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 is very strict or are you the strict to one with her or i very uh, lenient with her i i have to strike the balance when it is needed i'm strict when it is not needed i'm lenient i am the one who spoils i am the one who controls <laughs> so it is that razor sharp edge jo hoti hai us pe i have to walk because i'm the mother i'm the father so i have to play both the roles so i take on the role as and when required but then if i talk about roles now because you know women centric and all that if i say There, there was a time when you know when somebody would say that oh I'm going into the showbiz industry they would say oh be aware like you know कितना कहा जाता था कि अरे जस्ट जब मैंने खुद डिसाइड किया तो का एंटर इन द शोबिज इंडस्ट्री जर्नलिज्म गुड एंटरटेनमेंट ओ जस्ट बी केयरफुल ऑन दैट दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ फीडबैक वी यूज्ड टू गेट एंड आई थिंक विद द टाइम थिंग्स हैव चेंज्ड बट इफ आई वुड से दैट टुमारो इफ योर डॉटर टेल्स दैट मम्मी आई वांट टू गो इनटू द इंडस्ट्री व्हाट इज योर रिएक्शन गोना बी लाइक What do you say I that oh like yes? I will always support you because I trust her I trust every every cell of my body trusts my child the way my parents trusted me i i came from jaipur i matlab i wouldn't call it a small town small town but it is still considered a small, a small town, town in comparison yes. to um, mumbai a metro and my parents trusted me i was hardly 17 but they let me fly they they became the wind beneath my wings and they they said that the world is the stage just go out and do whatever you want to do and you have our support and if ever you fall we are there to catch you so i am going to be the same uh, parent to my child and um, it's a big bad world everywhere it's not just this field the the difficulties that a girl would face in this field it's kind of the same everywhere it depends on you if you are a no nonsense person if you have a backbone of steel nahi iron, iron then nobody can do any anything wrong with you or any hanky panky with you and if you have a mother like juhi but mother oh, nobody can do anything samaira says i i am a daughter of I, a tigress are you are you adopting people i am i mean i don't mind doing that no my mother is listening oh, i am not <laughs> but, but, okay but it's just i will not make another tattoo huh? I, my daughter will kill me for that i want to have a lot take the thing okay but tell me one thing because you know uh, ott has been blooming a lot and you are somebody who was chosen as you just said very clearly that you know you have chosen such characters that will leave a mark There was a time when OTT का मतलब लोग कहते थे कि अरे you know their bold content but things have changed yeah. drastically OTT is making such content that's leaving a mark on people now would we get to see Juhi in OTT projects and if yes what kind of roles are you looking out for yourself like so you've already hmm. seen me in uh, OTT in with ये मेरी family yes. season two last year and uh, I think it did fabulously well I got awards I got uh, you know um, such uh, such good feedback and the way i was uh, welcome in this uh, on this platform as well is overwhelming because um, when you're around for two decades people just just think probably that okay this is her best and she is giving it all and she's again stereotyping getting stereotyped is, is the most easiest thing yeah, yeah, yeah. so when i did uh, ott not that i went uh, out of my league or did completely bold character or something i played a homely woman yes. but still the character had different layers and i played it differently and i could m- kind of make a mark and uh, make my presence felt with that kind of series as well where there were no bold scenes which was absolutely family show people of all I ages loved it, watching it. it exactly both seasons i would yeah, say yeah though. yeah even season 1 was fab so um i feel that uh, it's just that you have to choose what you want to do and you have to be patient enough i knew what i don't want to do what kind of characters i would want to do is something that i'll be offered and i will choose from that but what i don't want to do i was very very clear that I, i'm not going to cross this line i'm not comfortable doing yeah. it the ones who can do it comfortably great so um now also yes i would like to do many more shows on ott uh, different characters that i have not yet played um, i've said earlier also that maybe i would like to play a cold blooded mother Oh. <laughs> the way she has said it, it's like, oh, I also want to see that one. Yeah, like I have not. So 
I have played all good characters. I have played negative just once in Shani, and I am very happy I got a chance to do that because everybody used to say that with this face you will only get good characters. Good characters. Thanks huh? to Siddharth Tiwari that he said no. I saw the negative Sangya uh, being played by you. I said thank you <laughs> for seeing beyond this this face also, and thank you for seeing the actor in me. So yeah, I, when I played the negative character, I really enjoyed it. And I think in real life, तो मैं ये सब कुछ कर नहीं पाऊँगी. तो मैं on screen करके तो वो मजा ले लूँ. So I would love to play something which is grey. Uh, or or negative or or as i said cold blooded murder i want to see that but okay before i just jump to the final part of it i am very keen to know because as you said that you know um 7 years the longest show that worked around for you and you it left a mark on the audience obviously we have seen you play multiple characters now that we see a lot of shows i'm sure they are running for so many years but the content has died You know, I, I remember while uh, one of the show was rerunning, and we were just talking about TRPs, and we were telling them, "Okay, you know, right now the highest TRP is two point eight." And they were like, "Huh? In our time, it was seventeen, eighteen yeah. minimum." So, but ये इस पे तो हमारे शो बंद हुए थे जो कि अब highest TRP होती है. That's what I'm saying. But now that you see these shows, do, do you think that you know your time was maybe the best because you know you got to give away such a uh, perception of a woman or maybe the kind of role that you've played? Do you think that? the times are not changing for the better in the content manner on tv but uh, on the opposite manner see, it, i i will not say that tv <coughs> pe acche shows nahi hai definitely acche shows bhi hai but see at that time there was no ott so uh, tv was a medium which which was the new medium at that time because uh, doordarshan tha and everything was there but it was at its boom so people were focused on television only now there are more channels and there are more shows because they're not doing that well probably we don't know about those shows in yes. the storyline may be fabulous oh, there are certain okay so i wouldn't want to name those shows which have not done great but have fab uh, storylines because they've not done well i wouldn't want to name them so it's not that there is not good content it's just that there is deviation yeah people have more choice ott maybe there are so many platforms and there is everything is so available to watch anywhere anytime on your phone at your convenience that um it's the content which is on which is working better on ott i would say that but not that uh, television does not have good content it it does have just that in our times if you say in our times where i would not want to sound like that old yet, <laughs> the, oh, old, old, old hey. but the um, yeah the, the golden time of television i would like to put it that way i'm happy that i was a part of television back then, then when it was its golden period and there were a few characters which uh, went on to become iconic and um, fortunately my character is one of uh, one those, of those yes. characters so yeah i am grateful to god for that but till date do the audience koi aisa hai jo aapko raste mein lagta hai abhi bhi koi bahut sare har dusre insaan ko abhi bhi main how do you react when they still uh, you know call you I, I by i think it's it's become my second name only <laughs> uh, half of the people would call me juhi half of the people would call me kumkum even now so It's I think it's 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 so nice that you played a character which resonated so well and stayed so long with people that even after uh, it going off air since I think in 2008 it I'm it went off air in 2009 9 okay so, 9 yeah more than a decade yeah. people still remember it they, they there are people who still come up to me and they sing the title song recently we had gone to um, Imagica for my daughter's birthday and the night we had stayed back there only So there was this guy who was doing live singing. He saw me and he started yeah. singing my title tr- track over there, and I was like, "So sweet is that?" And then people, I was like, the ones who didn't know that I'm sitting here also got to know. They got to know, and then they started coming and clicking pictures. But it was such a sweet um, experience. So yeah, it's it's beautiful that people still remember the name and me with that character. Yeah.